this was, you know, um, prepared mostly for students uh, because I would like to present myself uh, just from the beginning. I was also a student. It was a long time ago, 20 years ago. I graduated in a poster studio, Mietek uh, Wasilewski. He was my teacher, uh, and at the same moment, he's a still great uh, artist and designer. And he was one of the dozens of uh, great designers of Polish uh, poster. Uh, I studied uh, in a very specific moment. Uh, Poland was, uh, you know, just a few years after the political break, political change. We became a democratic country. Uh, this year, in June, we have a 30th anniversary of first democratic elections in Poland. So uh, uh, that was the time of, of change, also in the field of design. So all the all the masters and uh, like Wasilewski and his. Uh, his master, Henryk Tomaszewski, this is the guy in the middle, um, drawn one. And if you would like to know how Henryk Tomaszewski looked like, just look left. This is his son, Filip Pongowski. Uh, it's a genetical clone of, of his father. So don't look at the guy on the right side, please. Uh, so, but this is really the proper hairstyle for, for a designer. Um, uh, so, uh, when during my education, I was, you know, attacked with so many good posters, and they were really great inspirations. This is our Tomaszewski ones, but there were hundreds of them. Tomaszewski was uh, treated, and is treated still as a kind of a father of so-called Polish School of Poster. Um, but this is, you know, this kind of art is totally out of range, out of your range, when you are a student, of course. We admire this kind of works. Uh, so, me, Justyna, and many other uh, students of Academy just wanted to be a part of this uh, design world. So, we have chosen the poster studio. Another Tomaszewski poster. But there was also someone else, like Roman Cieślewicz, uh, a few years, uh, few light years away from uh, Tomaszewski, completely different style. And I think his style and his uh, workshop uh, was even closer to my mind because it was politically engaged and I was politically engaged at the moment. Uh, yeah, but so I said before, everything has changed in 89 and Poland uh, started to be a kind of polygon of wild capitalism and the landmark of, of Warsaw also has changed. Good posters disappeared and the best, uh, the bad uh, advertisements uh, appeared in a town. Uh, this is the one of the main crossroads crossings uh, of, of Warsaw with the first McDonald's, the symbol of capitalism, and this lovely LCD screen uh, above. There were a few LCD screens at the moment in Warsaw. They were causing a lot of uh, uh, car accidents because you saw a lot of nice girls over there, and so uh, that was the story. But when I was in a Wasilewski studio, I, you know, I thought, no, this is our enemy, yes? This is our enemy, so we have to maybe fight with this enemy with his own weapons. Uh, so uh, I asked the professor to make my first animated poster. Yes? Instead of making a project for a paper, I did probably, as a first <laughs> student at the academy, uh, animated poster. And animation stayed with me until now. So I will show you this terrible animated poster at McDonald's again. 
And I found it in, on a very uh, old hard disk recently, so it's funny. This was for Prima Aprilis, the Fool's Day. That was the uh, very old exercise. It comes from the Tomaszewski times. Pasilewski did the same with that. It was about visual cheating. So I did animated terrible something. Yeah, we could say today that it's kind of GIF or something that's like coming back, coming back. <coughs> and I was really proud. It, it was shitty, of course, totally, but uh, mm, uh, I was the avant-garde. <laughs> and I was also uh, trying to enter this world of billboards. So everyone uh, was doing this V1 posters, and I said, no, this, this is not, not going to work with me. I have to make billboards. So this is a part of my uh, master degree. Uh, I was, you know, a little sh shy student, but somehow I managed to convince the biggest uh, outdoor company in Poland to publish this billboard uh, on 50 billboards in Warsaw. And it, it was right before uh, uh, Poland joined European communities, so, so we discussed a lot what we have to offer to the community and this was called Offer for Europe. And for and there were five or six posters from the series and for this, this one, for example, I won a silver medal on international poster by an in Warsaw. So I was really famous as a student, uh, but that was the end of my fame. <laughs> um, uh, so um, this story I will tell you today will be about uh, serious about about making design move of multiply images for one event, but it doesn't mean I didn't uh, design regular posters. There, there are some of them. I say that I am this kind of. Uh, Sunday designer of, of posters. For the rest of the week I do animations, uh, corporate design, uh, and things like this. The poster is a kind of privilege and a pleasure. So there are some posters for cultural events, but this is not the case for today, so I will skip it. Uh, well, every time when I succeed to make something like this, I really enjoy to see how it works in the street. I try to document it. Uh, there are some theater posters, you can see them, uh, some of them in the gallery. Uh, skip, skip, skip. This is a theater poster, single poster, festival poster. Uh, this is Warsaw. Uh, it's a, a Stalinist uh, monument in the middle of the town. I'm doing also a uh, book design, skip it, skip it, and I do uh, uh, dozens of logotypes and corporate uh, projects, and they are very systematic. And this crossing between animation and systems, uh, visual systems, this is something I would like to show you mostly today. Uh, because I use a lot of animation in my work, I realized. I noticed that uh, each time I start my design, I immediately think, what, how it's going to move? How can I transfer it to, to the other shape? Uh, and yes, I, I did some work for Polish uh, television. This is the, I was asked to, to make an animation, opening animation for the competition for young musicians. So I gave them a proposition, that, okay, I will do it, but I will change the logotype because you have an awful logotype. So I did this uh, in a way that is anyway. Uh, yeah, 
design uh, meant to be a part of uh, animation. celebrities, media, they were, you know, making just uh, photographs, how lovely they are. Uh, and I was really surprised when the client uh, accepted this kind of criticism about uh, these behaviors, you know, this exaggeration of red carpet uh, was a joke, but uh, they accepted the, the poster and because this kind of contract, they take a lot of time. Sometimes you work on a festival four, five, or six months. So it is just impossible to, uh, to, to watch your poster and to repeat your poster all the time. Uh, this single image is you know, something, is a nightmare after a while. Uh, and this poster was recreated in, in many, many, many ways. Uh, sometimes it was different on the cover, it was different on the poster, but I asked also a set designer to buy all the red materials uh, in the shops around and use it as a set design for the whole festival. So Sopot and uh, Dines were was covered by the red carpet. They were hanging on the walls, uh, you could find them even on a beach. This is the opening of the sculpture for Roman Polanski movie, so it was a fun to play this game. And I think it was the beginning of uh, a kind of um, design practice I do all the time. Then it was like 12th edition of Solidarity of Arts. Solidarity of Arts was in fact the transition from Festival of Jazz, Festival of Stars. I designed the logotype, and this logotype of course was meant to be animated and uh, it, it created uh, aesthetics of whole uh, typographic information. Uh, so, but there were so many. I, but I enjoyed this work. Very nice festival. But unfortunately, after uh, the latest political break, it was uh, forgotten. Uh, another example is uh, designed for the Museum of. Warsaw Uprising. I was asked to uh, make a design for 17th anniversary of uh, uprising. Uh, but the problem is that uh, organizers didn't know uh, what's going to happen, how many events they they will at the end create. So I had to create some kind of open project that can be changed during the time and. So there, it had to be something really simple, and this, uh, this simple number uh, kept everything in order. You can see how many events was on the list. So I created a 
kind of free, uh, easy to adapt uh, design with so many things inside. It was always 70, but the object characterized the, the problem. There were around seven or eight uh, posters and so a lot. Production, poster production, Netflix syndrome. Then uh, I started uh, my uh, adventure with the Gdynia Film Festival. At the beginning, uh, it was uh, just the one poster. It was reproduced in many colors, but in fact, it was just one form. But again, after this uh, six months of nightmare of repeating or adapting, uh, there was around 200 formats for, for the festival. I said to myself that next time uh, I will not be able to continue without a change. So next year, I, uh, I gave a proposition to make two versions of the same poster. So it was a night version and, and uh, daily version. Night version was uh, displayed in a, a festival's hotels. It's a typography poster with the uh, name Gdynia Incorporated. But, but again, after a while, after two months of work, I said that I just cannot touch this. Uh, uh, <laughs> so we have to skip it. So I produced many, many uh, versions, many sub-posters for little events, and they uh, created a series. Uh, can you give me three minutes more? Yes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> but next time, oh, this is the animation I did for this festival. Polskie kino w najlepszym ujęciu. Gdynia Festiwal Filmowy. But Netflix syndrome was even bigger next time. Uh, because it was a special edition, it was 40th edition of uh, a fest movie festival in Gdynia, the biggest one in Poland. So I knew that I had to make something really special. So I divided the plane in 40 <coughs> squares, you know, the discoverer of America, 14, 40. And, uh, but it was cool because I could set it in 5 to 8 or 4 to 10, so different proportions. It was okay, 40, 40 squares. But uh, my idea that I gave to the organizer was that we will make 40 posters for the festival uh, as a kind of uh, social media project. So we are inviting people with objects and we are creating uh, posters right on place and we can produce 10 posters per day. So there is a mechanism to, uh, to change the visual aspects but finally, the right-wing government cut the funding and they told me that uh, there is no past. So we finished with uh, like six uh, posters. They were used as a uh, page break in the catalogs and we printed 15,000 postcards that were sent during the festival with this image. Uh, imagine during, you know, this at the time of emails and and me messenger, people were sending postcards. Really hard to understand. Uh, so, unfortunately, I didn't uh, uh, win the game, but the concept was the concept, so I'm mentioning. That was a video, of course, for the, the TV broadcast and cinema broadcast. One minute four. I'm finishing. So my uh, design practice also uh, <coughs> the, practice, the practice that I share with my students. We are working on a series of posters. Uh, there were plenty of them, very different, depending on the personality of, of a student and, and, and the subject. Uh, I like, I really love this game playing with force, uh, but this is the, the last case. Uh, I thought that the 40 is something crazy, that no one can beat me. 
but uh, one of my students, Karol Yamazaki, made a bachelor uh, diploma at my studio. He came with an idea, he, he graduated before uh, uh, about coding somewhere in Polytechnic, and he came with an idea to create a machine to produce posters, typographical posters. Uh, the image was captured by uh, something from PlayStation, the camera was from PlayStation, and the snapshots were uh, loaded to the machine, and the algorithm was composing typography, uh, trying to make a portrait of a person. So the way how the person behaves uh, generated proper names, so is it lazy or nervous or funny or red or depending on the clothes and uh, the machine could produce a lot of typographical posters. We were setting this contrast and relations between letters as a prototype it would be better but uh, the problem was that for me that this machine could produce depending on the speed of the processor minimum 100 posters per minute. So my first 40 poster for the uh, uh, for this festival could take around less than 30 seconds. Uh, so I said that you know this is the end of the world. Machines are uh, killing us, and this is also the end of my presentation.